Hello everyone and welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the first BBL game that's going to be happening post Christmas and we are going to start with the scorchers versus the uh, no we are not starting <laughs> with the scorchers game. Okay, we are starting with uh, the Sixers versus the Stars. Too many S's mm. today because the fourth, the fourth team of today is also going to be the Strikers. So yes, yeah. I have an absolute confusion. But we are going to be starting with the Stars game, and we mm. have Nikhil Bai with us today to give you more insights on his favorite league. Jai Mathandi. That's all. <laughs> all right. That is that should sum up everything for you. And uh, before we look at what we can expect in terms of the venue at the SCG, keep in mind that you are starting to invest well in the investment leaderboard. In case you have not downloaded the Fan to Play app, the link is in the description of this video. Do it right now. And this is only a one week leaderboard, so you basically just need to join as many leagues as possible. I'll also update the rankings constantly on the Telegram channel. And you'll know how much you need to do to cover up mm. and win some of these amazing prizes. So ensure that you do that. And now let's look at what is on offer in terms of the venue. Yep. So typically, like we've seen at the SCG, it has not been the easiest place to bat at. And we saw that even in a rain-affected game, the slow bowlers were getting help, assist, a lot of assistance. And we expect something similar come this one. Any uh, differentials or anything different that you observed in that last game, Nikhil Bhai? I think the last game was rain reduced, right? So, it, yeah. you know, the conditions are still it showed you that they were enough. Uh, help for spin. The one thing that has always been a problem with BBL for me, which is why I call it Jay Mata, is the catching at times. And while the usage is still something that you can understand now with no X factor, but mm. it's the catches and then who is used when and at what venue. Like someone like a Steve Oki can be a mind blowing pick for you, but if the catches are dropped off him, then there is nothing that you can do about it. So uh, when I mean by Jai Mata Dili, you have to be very sure of K. If you have lost the game, it's okay to lose if you know the reason. So, hmm. sorry to bring it in the venue conditions, but it is important because this is what stems the base team. How we feel the venue is going to be. So, typically, as he said, Sydney, you back uh, the side batting first to get a good score and then defend. That's what Sydney has been doing for a while. And the same will be the case in this very game as well. So, I don't see that changing. Unless, of mm. course, there is something that we get to know on the day. Yes, and in spite of the conditions being like that, there was still Steve Oki who bowled two overs, took one wicket, gave just seven runs and yet didn't complete his quota. So, that should tell you enough on what we are trying to speak about. So, let's look at how we'll set up our base team in that case. Yep. So let's look at the base team for this one. And if you've not participated already, the Christmas Depositors leaderboard is about to end really, really soon. So ensure that you make your best deposit now. Use the code Santa. You'll get 100% cash back on that. Or either you'll get 100% bonus cash on that deposit. And Sixers yeah. versus Stars is the game. Let's look at the base team that we've set up. First up in the keeping section, we have gone with Josh Filippi. Uh, Nikhil Bhai, do you see Steve O'Keefe versus Joe Clark in the power play? And on this pitch, do you see, do you think like Joe Clark will be able to get out of that matchup successfully? Same question to you. Do you think Trent Bolt versus no, Josh I know Philippi? That's <laughs> <laughs> so that is that is the question to answer before you make the call here. Uh, hmm. And again, this is the right time to pull up that this game. I think is best for mini jets. Primarily, while we to discuss this maybe by the end when we see the entire team preview why but i think good game for many deals because there are so many clear matchups for both teams that you might still end up making a very common team and the differential could be that one or two player and which is why the risk level is high because if you miss out on that one player then you are done for that very game and that is something that i also see happening a lot in bwell say something like a moody who took three wickets i think uh, for the Renegades. And mm. he was the only one who looked like he'll continue to take wickets if he bowled more over. So, that is something that happens often when you have a very common set of players. So, which is why I think the risk level is high and the game type is mini-jail. 
and which is why in base team you could play with two teams in this very game back i think this is one of the games where you can back a side to win and then make a team because mm. there are so many matches that everybody will cancel each other out so who will you pick so i think that could be the way to go uh, if sixers win the toss and bat first then you can make a team according to that assuming which one team is winning and then you can take either of the two keepers because there are going to be more bowlers that you are going to pick so you will either take two keepers and drop one bowler or you take a risk on a bowler b and b sure that the batter will compensate enough in that regards right absolutely and hence keeping all of that in mind we have currently gone with josh and he is yeah. the he ha- will have that edge because he's played more in these conditions so that should be able yeah. to help him a little more and with bold we don't know how much movement he'll get on offer up front but because all the matchups are in his favor even though the conditions might not be it will be something for us to balance out and hence we've opted to go with those batters but yet he's with us as a safety net in the batting we have gone with James Wins and Moses Enriquez again we have been, we have spoken extensively about the stars batting lineup across our previews and we saw again in that last game that no one really was able to stick in from the stars batting as yeah. whether it was Larkin who played a quick fire knock if, even though the conditions were so helpful Cartwright was not able to stand up uh, Rogers fell off early so and so we have just yeah. opted for the experience of the two sixers internationals and yeah. in the all rounders we have gone with the in form guys Hayden Kerr Sean Abbott and Stoinis is bowling again bowled his full quota in that last one if i'm not wrong so hence he will play a key role in this one too yeah bilkul i think uh, just got a few feedback on the previous video that we did that thoda hindi mein bhi baat kijiye so that is something that you guys will have to specifically inform us because we try and go by a common uh, option that people want to agar aapko chahiye ki dono mein ho to hum aisa mix and match kar sakte hain to jo batting option wo liye hain wo shayad thode zyada safe hain aap larkin cart right kisi ko bhi back kar sakte ho patterson sir ko bhi agar aapko lagta hai ki wo come off kare the option is going to be who do you feel will be you are very confident on the given venue while batting first or all or while chasing depending on your visualization and because all rounder may there is no scope of debate uh, that who are you going to take christian mm-hmm. is not bowling as of now but then he is already bowled in one game and taken a wicket and he bowled the 16th over if i'm not wrong so again jo jayma tadi bola tha wo isi liye bola tha ki kabhi kabhi use ya need nahi hoti fir bhi aap dekhte hain ki teams try kar rahi hai kuch of course unke zehen mein kuch logic hoga they will have a reason for doing that but if it is going to affect your key player not bowling enough overs then it will cost you so which is why you can take the key performers in your team one and risk if you want to take in your team so i think kar chon about stoinis are all three in the safer zones webster with no ncn rested webster could get a bowl uh, yeah ideally but again could should is very uh, risky with bb and again same is case with dan christian may not be needed but you never know when he bowls and why he bowls Yes, absolutely. And in the bowling, we have gone Luke Wood, who was very expensive but managed to take a lot of wickets. Adam Zampa, Trent Bolt, Steve O'Keefe, and Naveen Olak. Now, key points for you to keep in mind: with no NCN, Browdy Couch is likely to play. He was bowling at the death for them last year. His tall pacer can be useful with change-ups. And Todd Murphy, if he's bowling second, is someone you can probably consider. This he's someone who they generally try to bowl out in the first seven to eight overs. So if stars are batting first, they might not attack him as much. But if they're batting second and there's a decent score, then he's someone you can try. Yeah, absolutely. I think Todd Murphy. again dekho ye jo sare players mention kare gaye you have to see which is which is the best time that they are used somebody like a dudi as well if you see for hurricanes is used up top so if you are going to take you will have to drop one of their top order you can't take everybody from their top order and still expect him to take wickets and them to score so you can always mix and match or i think couch i think could make a very good gl option for you just like moody was for renegades but again you have to be very sure whether it is happening or not same is the case with navin ola i think in this tournament so far we've seen a lot of wickets fall but only for certain players like luke wood came up with three wickets in one over peter siddle took wickets that day wes agar took wickets in the in that one over that he bowled so 
whoever we are backing while bowling first it is a very common thing for us to back the guy bowling first in the end overs but it may not always come off but back them so that is where i am coming to ki aap aapko lagta hai ki koi chalega to usko ek do game continuous back karo given the situation then given the conditions at the venue so that is how we will probably get to the ideal condition ideal team that you want to create yes and based on that this is what the team that this is the team that we have created till now and you can see we have backed a lot of bowlers and all rounders and that is purely because of the fact that we have seen wickets fall consistently across games and we have also seen across games that no batter has been able to actually come on and deliver game after game so hence for us the formula is go with experience in the batting and the keeping and in the all rounders and the bowlers go with the guys based on the conditions and the situations that they are expected to bowl in yeah bilkul yahan pe bhi agar dekho aap team mein aap kahoge it's very sixers heavy but there is no batter from stars that you feel 100% even 70 50% confident that he'll come off so the batting order the form everything matters and yeah that will help us to get to the next section and that is the grand league one yes absolutely so let's look at the best grand league picks for this one so on to the grand league picks that we have for this game so i'll go first here because it's sydney and these are conditions that i thrive to make teams in so i'm going to go with zampa and steve o'keefe was very disappointed last time that they did not bowl steve o'keefe for more than two overs even though he just gave seven runs that two in a short in game and took a wicket but uh, one of these two bowlers when they bowl second will be vice captaincy captaincy material for me and apart from that i told you if they bowl first then brawley couch so you already know that bilkul bilkul and uh, i will also go with two bowlers because again what else we are for uh, if stars are bowling first then good we have taken three of the batters in the base team itself so either the team will go very up top or they'll cancel each other out which is fine but I, coming into the game he hasn't taken a lot of wickets coming into it तो शायद ट्रेन बोर्ड का अगर थोड़ा भी मूवमेंट मिल जाता है सिडनी में आपको कभी कभी ऐसा होता है यू सी सम हेल्प अर्ली ऑन बट इट्स फॉर अ वेरी लिमिटेड टाइम सो दैट इज अ कॉल दैट यू कैन टेक बेस्ड ऑन द कंडीशंस ऑन दैट अ वेरी डे एंड इफ सक्सेस बोल फर्स्ट ऑफ कोर्स यू विल गो विद अबाउट एन हेड इन केयर बट आई थिंक नो लक विल वेरी सून हैव अ 3 4 4 फॉर काइंड ऑफ गेम सो आई एम गोइंग विद दैट बोलर्स अगेन लेट्स सी इफ मेरी जोली में वो विकेट गिरते हैं कि नहीं सो ट्रेन बोल्ड एंड द विनर लक Navin Alak I'm I'm backing that one to come good for this game so <laughs> let's see how that goes and we hope all of you enjoy the games a lot of games for you on boxing day so ensure that you participate well too many offers too so make full use of it and have a good set all the good luck to you bilkul ek bas baat yaad rakhna kafi sare games hai invest accordingly jis game pe aap zyada confident ho usme zyada invest karo so do not end up splurging a lot of money on just one of the five six games that are there on the very big day and there are a lot of leagues coming up in this in the next year so whichever game you are confident of invest and best accordingly to that and yeah have a good game see you soon